Hi boys and girls. For this video, I am going to show us how to take a piece of paper and we are going to make fractions out of it that we can use to compose our own music. Holy guacamole, music and math coming together. Who'd have thought? But really, you've been doing fractions the whole time you've been playing and learning music. You just didn't know it. And I'm going to show you how. So the items you need for this are two pieces of paper, one dark and one light. I like to choose complementary colors, art terms for you. So I've got a blue and a yellow sheet of paper. You are also going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a marker or a pencil, something that won't bleed through the paper that you're going to be cutting. So once you have your materials, first thing, I like to put the darker paper down on the bottom, so I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm gonna put it out of the way for the moment. Take your lighter sheet of paper and you're going to fold it in half, hot dog style. So I will demonstrate right now. Hot dog style in half. And it should look like this, like a hot dog. That half sheet of paper right there, you're gonna cut along the line. Doesn't have to be perfect, you're cutting, just as long as it's cut right in half. And now you have two. Each one of these now, you're going to also fold in half, hot dog style, and cut along the line. And I will demonstrate for you. So fold in half. This might be a little harder to fold in half because it's longer. So try your best to match up the corners first. Hot dog style, put my crease and give it a cut. style again. Creep. Cut it along the line. We now have four equal strips of paper from the big paper that we started with. Pick one of those sheets of paper any one of them, and you're going to leave it intact, whole, like this. And take one of your markers, let me see what I have here. And this is one whole line, so the note we're going to use to represent it is the whole note. On your paper, you're going to draw a whole note, like that. And how many beats does a whole note get? If you said four, you're correct. And I want you to put the fraction four over four. Because out of four beats in the measure, the whole note gets four. So it's the whole measure, four out of four, one whole. You could even put equals one. On the back of that, flip it around, I want you to do the same thing, but with the whole rest. Now remember, the whole rest looks like the rabbit hole. If a person was walking along the line and they weren't paying attention, whoop, they'd slip down into that hole. You see it? There we go. So we don't want it so that it's like this, like it's the hat. We want it so we're falling in the hole. And on that one, I want you to put equals four over four equals one. So there's our whole rest and our whole note. Set that to the side when you're done. Our next one, take our whole strip and we're going to fold it in half this way. And we're going to cut it in the middle. So 
now we have two equal halves of the whole. What note in music is half of the whole note? If you said the half note, weird how it got its name, then you're correct. On each of these, you're going to draw a half note on the front. Remember, the half note is the one that is not filled in. And you're going to, for that fraction, put equals 2 over 4 because the half note gets 2 out of 4 beats. And if we reduce that fraction, like we've learned, 2 out of 4, 2 over 4, equals 1 half or our half note. Go ahead and draw that on the other paper. I'll do it real quickly. And then on the back, we are going to draw our rep. So remember, this one looks like the hat. If we are walking along the line, we would trip over the hat or the half rep. So half or hat rep goes up. It equals two out of four beats. And I'm gonna draw that on the other one too. Half rep equals two out of four beats. So we have our half rep and our half note. All right, we're gonna set those to the side. Can you guess what's next? If we cut our half note in half, we get which note gets one beat? If you said the quarter note, then you are right. So let's take our other strip and we are going to fold it in half. Oops, I don't need the marker. Fold it in half once, cut it in the middle, and then each of these halves we are going to fold in half and cut in the middle again. We should have four equal parts. Four quarters in a dollar, four quarter notes, in a whole note, four quarters in a whole. So on each one of these, we are going to draw a quarter note. And remember, quarter note is filled in. And we're going to equal one out of four beats. On the back, we will draw the rest. And remember, there's no fancy way to make the rest. It just kind of looks like a three, like a fancy squiggle three. If you want to just put the letter Z, that works also. And that's one out of four B. I'm going to quickly do the other one so that we can move on in the video. Ooh, my. What is we doing? And you can do yours while I'm doing mine. All right, those are my quarter notes. We're gonna set them aside. Last but not least, we're gonna take this and we're going to make eighth notes. Very good. So start by folding it in half once. Cutting it. Oh, Mr. Marker. Taking each one of those folding them in half again, and cutting them. But these ones, I know they're the size of a quarter note. I don't want you to cut them in half just yet. You'll see why in a moment. Take these ones, cut them in half here.
So we have four quarter slips of paper. Two of them, I want you to fold in half, but do not cut yet. So this one's folded in half, and this one's folded in half, hot dog style. And on that crease in the center, I would like you to take your marker, and we're going to put a dotted line. Ooh, Freddy's barking. Here's the kids outside. Maybe it's one of you. <laughs> Dotted line on the crease. Oops. Do that on both of them, please. We are going to draw our pairs of eighth notes on here. So I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to draw it first and then I'll explain. Eighth notes like that. Make them a little better. What you can do is you can draw a quarter note in each box and then connect it with a line. Two eighth notes. And underneath each eighth note, I want you to write one eighth. Now, why didn't I have you cut them in half? Because I want you to see that two eighth notes is equal to one quarter note. So if this equals one beat, two of these together equal one beat. So one eighth note would be half of one beat. Two eighth notes together equal one beat. For now, I just want you to keep them together, two of them together. On the other side, we're going to draw our rests. Remember, those look like fancy sevens. And we're going to write one eighth, one eighth. Go ahead and do that on your other one, on your other two. So I'm going to draw, see if I can do this upside down. All right. Quarter note, quarter note, like this, and then connect it with the line. And we're going to write one eighth of one beat and one eighth because it is each one eighth note and two eighth notes together equal one quarter because two eighths equals one quarter. Ah, see the fractions there? If you'd like to do that with the other two, you can do that at home on your own time. In the interest of time for this video, I'm just going to leave them to the side and I will do them later. Here's how we can compose with our fractions now. Take our darker sheet of paper and we're going to set it down. And now you just get to pick which order and you want to make sure you cover up the full paper. So I'm going to start with a half note, up here, half note, hmm, let's put two eighth notes, let's do a quarter note, I'm going to do a whole note down here, and since I didn't cut my other two, I'm just going to do three lines, um, let's see, quarter rest. Quarter note, quarter rest, two eighth note. Here's my number line. I don't, I hope you can see it right here. Ooh, you know what I'll do is I'll put the screen down on it. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get close so you can see it. There we go. So we're going to start up here. We have one, two, three, and four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and. This is why we always add an and with our eighth notes, because we've got the beat, one whole beat, but we've added another note to it. Now I'm going to clap it from the beginning, ready? 
Make sure you do your other two notes, your other two sets of eighth notes. I'll demonstrate them at the end. And then if you'd like more notes to compose with, you could take another sheet of paper and do all of this over again. So I'm going to real quick do these eighth notes for you. Just to remind us, fold it in half. Draw our dotted line. Eight. Draw my quarter note. Draw my quarter note, but make sure we connect them. And we've got one eighth, one eighth. And on the other side, draw a dotted line. We got fancy seven, one eighth, one eighth. Have fun with this activity. Um, if you want to take a picture of the rhythms that you compose using your fractions, feel free to send them to me. If you want to send a video of you playing the fractions that you compose, I would love that too. I'd love to hear from you to have fun. I'm going to do one more ry rhythm before we, we go out. Let me move it up close so we can see. Move my screen down. Here we go. We're going to start with the whole note up top. Ready? One, two, three, four. One and two, three and four. And one and two and three and four. And. Have fun composing your own rhythms with fractions and music and math. Who knew all this time you were doing fractions? Bye, friends.